Hi, I'm Anant. I'm Jeremy. And this is our uh, VR sword defense game. Um, so what we got is we've got a helmet with a screen here that'll display oncoming balls. Um, and you're going to use this sword with two accelerometers in it to either swipe the right ball or the left ball. Other peripherals include uh, the magnetometer compass at the top of the helmet, which lets you look in a particular direction, and based on that, the screen will change. Um, additionally, we have uh, tactile feedback via vibration motors and uh, audio feedback via audio. <laughs> and and, and in particular, you said an annoying video audio yeah. sound to let you know when you've been clobbered. Right, that is correct. Yeah, so every time you get hit, you're going to get a sound, and then... Every time, like if it's off screen, we, we've got a right motor, you'll get hit from the right side. Gotcha. And it'll vibrate. Do you want to give me one of the micro, the earphones there to put up near the recorder? Uh, sure. It's not particularly loud, loud or well, let's, long. We'll see so if we can get it, though. Maybe they won't be able to hear it. Press the reset button. Just let's see if we get it. So I just started the game, and right now we're looking at uh, screen two and nothing's on it. Your score is how long you've survived. The health, uh, we're beginning at uh, five health points, and the number on the right side is which screen number you're looking at currently. Uh, when this ball hits you, which it will momentarily, uh, you'll hear that. I heard the buzzer. You'll hear that the feedback? Yeah. Oh, okay, and... Um, so, once again, this is one of the screens. As we rotate, we look at different screens. Uh, in uh -huh. total, there are four, so... Basically, just north, south, east, west. Okay. Um, so about ninety degrees per screen. Yeah. Right. Okay. So pick up the sword and let's see you play this thing. Sounds okay. good. All right. Um, now, Jeremy, will. Uh, I'll just put do it you want to? Yeah. Should we? Should he put it on? Sure. All right. All right. Strapped in. So it's a little close to my face. So I'm want, just gonna one yeah. eyeball. Go ahead and put these on too. <laughs> I'll just put the one. All right. All right. So if I can find. Oh, we'll just restart. Um. So. I'm gonna swipe the right ball, and it'll nice. disappear. We got another right ball here. Try to disappear. So I'm gonna try and look for a different ball. Oh, there's one over here. Kill it. Nice. You got it. You got it just before it got you. Yeah. Uh, oh, so they just one. they just progress. Oh, I just got hit by that. Uh, so they just progressively get larger until they reach a threshold that we set. Um, so right now I think I have four health left, and our oh I'm swinging right. That's why the I'm swinging left. That's why the right ball isn't going away. Well, that's okay. <laughs> um, and lastly, you can just let yourself be hit these last two times so we can see the game terminate, right, right. and it'll display your score, which is how many seconds you've managed to survive. So I don't know. Anywhere. There's a ball yeah, coming. I just got hit by the back twice. And yep. so game over and score 52 seconds. And if you don't want the fun to end, there's a reset button up here. Uh, yeah, and you just keep going. And you ended up you ended up having you ended up having glasses with uh, lenses in them to help with the VR, right? Yeah, so this is kind of like a poor man's Google. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we just got some basic safety glasses here, and we yeah, put a lens on it. Uh, it's so a little put, actually painful for me actually to wear. Oh, but you look like stylish. Into your nose, but it does actually make it a lot easier to see. <laughs> um, Potential improvements to the system could uh, include. Moving the screen further out to make make it easier to see. Also, oh, integrating the audio into the helmet itself. So all it requires is putting the helmet on, and you have everything all at once instead of individually attaching these uh, components like this earpiece. Um, and other than that, other uh, like UI UX system designs, such as like uh, a nicer game interface, mm -hmm. would be next steps uh, given more time. Okay. We can also probably get more screen resolution, like 90 degrees is a sure. lot to turn around with. But sure. uh, with the magnetometer, we weren't able to get like clean cuts, um, so we figured it was easier to minimize. And Do 90 degree change. Yeah. Okay. Mostly because we're surrounded by technology and the magnetometer, uh, the magnetic waves from all the technology around us kind of interferes with the readings. Sure. Jumping okay. around. Okay. All right. Thank you.